Hi beautiful Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope each and every one of you are doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. And be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you. You may notice a symbol, a message on one of the cards which really resonates for you. Take notice of this because spirit has a message there for your situation. Let's take a look at these two cards for Gemini. So we have the throat chakra and we also have new vitality. Beautiful. So with new vitality, if you have been feeling ill or under the weather emotionally, physically or mentally, this is beautiful sign because you're going to have a rejuvenation, regeneration of your vitality this week. It may mean in some situations that you're going to have a huge shift and things are going to be uh, very different around you in your life, circumstantially, perhaps relationship wise, health wise. So this is a really powerful energy. With the number one, there is a sense of a new beginning in some respect, a new beginning, something has just begun for you or will begin this week or sometime very soon from when you watch this reading. A newness is coming in, beautiful. And you have the throat chakra. So this is a chakra card, obviously. And so what this means is spirit is encouraging you to have a focus and an intention to clear and activate your chakras, especially your throat chakra. It also means that you have an important role this week to speak your truth. Speak your truth, how you really feel about something or what you really think about it. You've got to voice your opinion and stay in integrity with what you say. This is vitally important, very, very important in the week ahead, Gemini. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what spirit reveals with this deck. Guidance for Gemini, please. Let's see. Guidance for Gemini. This card here, I feel, is yours. So we have um, the waiting game. And we also have passion ignited. We have another number one. So numerologically, there's definitely something happening that's new, a new beginning, a new start, a new opportunity. Something like that is going on. And with this card, it's about passion. It's about your heart. It's about your desires. A new starts with what you have been desiring. Beautiful. Now, there is something going on in your life, Gemini, where you're waiting, waiting for something. And you'll know what spirit is talking about here for you if it resonates, of course. Waiting for something to develop, waiting for someone to get back to you, waiting, just waiting for something. And that's exactly where you need to be right now. I'm not sensing that you can change it. It's just a waiting game. It's just time. So whatever this is, don't despair or feel like it's not going to happen. This is just necessary for the process to take place. This is divine timing coming into play. I am getting a sense with all of these circles going around here, I'm getting a sense that you have or it feels like you're going around in circles with some aspect of your life, perhaps the relationship or your finances or your work um, or in some respect, you're going around in circles. So, so that's important to um, 
to the waiting somehow. Okay, that's what Spirit's telling me. That's what I'm sensing here. It looks like there will be a breakthrough though because we have the one right beside it. So a new beginning will start. There will be, especially this card with passion and movement. So we have a stagnation or a waiting, but then there's also an expectation of having having momentum that's coming through um, soon for you. Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. Guidance message for Gemini. Let's see what these cards reveal. So we have Serenza, beautiful. That can be difficult to do. Surrendering um, to a situation or something that you're resisting, that can be difficult. Let's see what else we have here. Divine Feminine, okay. So let's take a look at Surrender. The energy of surrender supports us to let go of illusionary control and yield to the flow of love and life. So yes, it's about going with the flow, surrendering and not gripping too tightly onto anyone or any situation or any conversation. It's about releasing. I'm actually seeing this as a release. Especially because we have a new beginning, a new vitality, an opportunity, something like that is on the way for you. So you're having to surrender to let go so you can allow this energy into your life. Yeah, beautiful. Now, divine feminine. And so this um, may mean for you and you'll know if it resonates on this level of you connecting into your own femininity, your own divine feminine, whether you're a male or a female, um, because we have aspects of masculine and feminine energy in all of us, connecting into the feminine within you. This may resonate on the level of a feminine individual person that's important in your life this week. The frequency of the divine feminine supports our soft, receptive, and nurturing side, facilitating our, our intuition and intrinsic understanding of our connection to the cosmos. So it's a receptive energy. It's nurturing someone or something and listening to your intuition, listening to what your gut instincts are telling you. Your intuition is right about something. Your intuition is right about something, something going on right now. Your instincts are telling you something, Gemini, and it's true. Listen to them. Listen to what your, your intuition is telling you. It may be quite a dramatic energy for some, an energy, if you really tune in and listen to it, it might be um, an energy of feeling a bit jarred or shocked when you connect into it for whatever reason, I'm um, going to be different for everybody. But this is really important to do. There's going to be a reveal that happens through this process. Now, this divine feminine energy or this female feminine energy is connected to the throat, the voice, communication. So if this resonates on the level of another person, not your internal feminine energy, but a feminine energy person that you're speaking to, this um, conversation, very important. And you are or have the opportunity to be if you choose to connect into the divine element, connect into God source energy, have that universal awareness, this conversation will 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 be uh, will go very smoothly or you'll you'll get out what you really think or what you really need to say but it's being divinely guided all right let's see okay so we have we have another um, chakra card here the solar plexus chakra 
and passion. Okay, we have passion here and it's actually right below. Passion ignited. So there is certainly something happening in your life right now or it's coming up very soon for you where your desires, your passionate self is going to be ignited. It's going to be activated. So let's um, start with this card here and read what it says. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long lasting wisdom fill us up. So this card here is speaking of um, fiery energy, fiery emotions, um, chaos energy, perhaps, or something very intense. You're feeling something very intensely. And the solar plexus chakra is important. So when you are meditating on or um, yeah, focusing on your chakra system this week, the throat chakra and the solar plexus, these are the two ones to, uh, two to focus on. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. So um, if this energy is not flowing well, then your sense of self can be down or lost. Your willpower isn't as strong as it should be. Um, so yeah, this energy, solar plexus chakra coming into play in a big way this week. So let's see with this deck of cards for Gemini and guidance for Gemini, please spirit. Let's see. Let's lay these cards out for Gemini. All right, let's take a look at the center card to begin with. So we have the four of autumn. Be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white terms. Consider, for example, whether you are spending too much versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls that keep people out because I am seeing some protection element coming in with this card for you. You're needing to build boundaries in some way in your life. You're needing to protect yourself. And that's exactly what needs to be done right now. Protecting yourself emotionally, mentally, physically, perhaps. But setting up boundaries is what I'm seeing this card represents for you at this moment. The Ace of Autumn. Uh, you expect... You can expect a windfall of abundance, such as money, timely assistance or serendipitous meeting or rewarding advice. You may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. Um, the ace is number one. So we have three ones. Wow, three ones in this spread for you for the week ahead. So there is a new beginning materially in some way that's going to show up for you this week or sometime very soon from when you, you view this reading. It may be income, financial, it may be job related, maybe possessions, what you have in your life materially, but it has the potential to grow. It has the potential to grow and develop in a fantastic way for you. So let's see what this next card is here. The King of Autumn. Everything's going to turn out great. Projects will be stunningly successful. Exciting new career opportunities are possible. And money or resources that come your way will be invested wisely. An amazing card to receive for finances, for work, for your material life. Both, both of these things are actually. So we have the, the ace through to the end of the, the, the suit here of the king. So 
this is a significant thing. It means that Spirit is saying to you, when it comes to your material life, your manifest life, there's going to be a new start, a renewal, and you're going to get to a pinnacle. There's going to be a pinnacle of satisfaction, abundance, success, um, all that you could ever dream of here. So this is being comfortable. This is you having enough. This is you being abundant. Okay, so this may be financial, maybe work-wise, uh, maybe in your home environment, place this energy in your life where it fits, the specifics for you starting and then you're moving to completion in a fantastic way. Maybe an investment, perhaps, a new job, okay, it's going to be different for everyone, place that energy, these were around that way, actually, there we go, beautiful, really beautiful energy. Now, with this suit of autumn of pentacles, this energy means it's going to be slower moving, so this may take, may take years to get to the finish line or get to the abundance here of the King of Autumn, but you're going to get there. And that's what Spirit is saying. Ultimately, you're going to be okay. Um, it's slow going, but you're going to get there. The Princess of Winter, the Seagull. This is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. Okay, so the message is important. The messenger is not. Or how someone presents the information to you it might be quite undiplomatic as uh, the keyword states up here. Okay, so that's connected, of course, into the communication of the throat chakra. Interesting. And the 10 of spring. All right. So you're working far too hard and the stress will soon become too much. It may be that you're working too hard or that you are. Um, well, that you're um, worried about something. Um, you're stressing about something here, but it's going to become too much. So reach out for help from others and take some time to play and enjoy life. So. The 10 means that this situation that's difficult for you right now is going to come to an end. The, the cycle is um, turning for you. There is momentum here. Reach out for help if you need it um, or just know in your heart of hearts that the cycle is turning and, and this uh, challenge will come to an end. And this week, if you can focus on playful energy, joyous energy, enjoy your life as much as you can rather than doing um, or focusing on too much about the mundane things or things that bring you down. Focus on what brings you joy. Wow, beautiful energy here for you, Gemini. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the reading and it's been helpful for you in some small way. I really hope it's been helpful for you. It's been a pleasure to read for you. If you enjoyed the reading, you can click the like button or subscribe to the channel if you would like to. If you haven't already, I really do love and appreciate each and every one of you for all of your support of my channel. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.